an idiot. I ah, forgot to unmute Can it. you hear us now? They can hear us now. Fantastic. Uh, so sorry about have, that. We have Manny versus Dan Deese uh, about to be on camera. We're still getting the deck lists corrected. Um, talk to me a little bit about the deck that Manny's playing. Today. Okay, Manny's playing my deck, Blue Red Burn. Okay, sweet. Tell us a little bit about that deck. Well, I love Blue Red Burn because I like to be, I like to be an aggressive player. That's what I like. I am an aggressive Magic player. I think I have the most fun doing that. But I think that just a straight aggro deck doesn't really work in Legacy. You know, like, Mono Red Burn can win, but I feel like it just loses to to the unfair decks. Sure. So I think Blue Red Delver is the best... It's fine. Okay, it's the best uh, compromise between the two. You know, you have the straight... You have Goblin Guide and Delver as solid good creatures. Mm -hmm. you, have the, you have tons of counter spells. I run 12 main board. Jeez. So you're playing four forces, four dazes... Four spell pierce. Four main deck spell pierce. Wow. Yeah, 12 main board counter spells, and then four lightning bolt, four chain lightning, four price of progress, two fire blast. Okay, so very aggressive. Yeah. Very, very aggressive. Yeah, very aggressive. No young pyromancer, two snapcaster mage, you know. It's interesting. So you're, you've got your pet deck on camera, and I've got one of my pet decks on camera. Yeah. Dan Deese today is on Nick Fit. Ooh. Um, so we don't have the corrected deck list, is that... I, I think he's still typing up the uh, sideboards. Got it. It looks like we're we're drawing our seven, but hopefully they won't start until we're. Uh, yeah, until we're it doesn't to... look like they're ready to start. Let's go to let's go to the big screen either way. Sure. So we're going to the big screen, so we don't have to look at the wrong things aside from names. Yeah, and uh, we'll get that corrected in a moment. Can you guys hear us now? Can somebody just confirm yeah, in the you, chat that you guys can hear us now? You can see in the uh, the bottom there oh, that whenever it. we're talking, it's it. going up. Yeah. Um. So anyways, uh, Dandies, uh, as we see now on uh, on the screen, it's been corrected, is on Nick Fit, which is my my pet deck. He is playing main deck Siege Rhinos. The fuck was? Thanks a lot, man. Thank you, thank you. Uh, he's hey, playing... Put that other screen see if I got that sideboard on there. Yep, okay. yep, looks good. good. Thank you. That should really be Blue Red Burn, not Blue Red Delver or whatever. Blue Red what? You play four, Blue Red Burn. <laughs> it plays four Delver of Secrets. It also we'll plays, it also plays four, you know, four Ponder, four Brainstorm. Sure. Find the burn. Um, so it looks like they're just, they're just waiting to go ahead and get started with the round. Uh, but yeah, looking at Dan Deese's deck list, four copies of Siege Rhino in Ugh. Legacy. Let me tell you how good that card is against Blue Red Burn. If he resolves that magic card, it is very difficult for Manny to win this game. That is uh, unfortunately true. Looks like Manny is on the play and immediately mulligans. I'm only running 16 lands, so sometimes you do get the no land hand. Whoa, 16? Man, you're not even playing Gitaxian Probe. Nope. How do you get away with 16 lands? There's no way that's correct. Zero really? Chance. Really? Because, yeah. you know, I I, I won on Friday. Man, past results are no indication of future performance. There is no way that's correct. And Manny is 2-0 right now, so... I just... That just doesn't make any sense. 16 lands? Yeah, 16 lands. Whoa. And three basics in You there. do play four Brainstorms and four Ponders, so yeah. that, that, that's fair. Starting right off with that chain lightning to the dome. I like that. Yeah. So traditionally, Nick Fit has positive matchups against Delver decks, but and, and your version specifically, you're not really a Delver deck. I mean, you're playing main deck basic lands, which is not totally normal for uh, for old school Delver decks. Yeah. So I, I think this matchup is actually a lot closer. Burn Burn is not an easy match for Nick Fit traditionally. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how this plays out. Well, we got a turn one veteran explorer and a reader. We got a reader. <laughs> um, if you don't know what Veteran Explorer does, and some of you out there might not, it's a Man one, mana, doesn't. one mana one one for green that says when this card dies, each player may search their library for up to two basic land cards and put those lands into play untapped. Um, it is the card that the deck Nick Fit is built around, and the way Nick Fit takes advantage of it is it it's playing a bunch of basic lands and it plays a much higher curve yes. than traditional legacy decks. Ooh, I think. Yeah, he did. He just drew a copy of Diabolic Intent. That's a card you don't see in Legacy very often. That's a card. I don't know what that does. Um, it's two mana. Sacrifice a creature. Demonic Tutor. Oh, guess what creature he's going <laughs> to sacrifice? Usually, I know that Veteran Explorer is very good because a lot of people don't run basics, but Manny it does have basics. Yeah, so, so it's, it's a little sketchy, though, because if he, if he slams it right here, he might run into Daze. I saw it in Manny's hand. Let's see whether or not Manny does it. 
<laughs> now, I don't know if Sacrifice... <laughs> I, I'm not sure if Sacrifice is uh, part of the cost of this card. Um, I'm sure Daniel Deese knows. He is a, indeed yes. a judge. Yes, he is. He's just going to pay for it. Okay, so it is part of the cost, which means he's going to be able to pay for days. Uh, I hope... Oh, okay. Well, that, I, that's the difference. Is like if it's part of the cost of the card, you get the lands first with mm. days on the stack, and then you can actually just pay for the days and Diabolic and Temple resolve. I don't really agree with Daniel Deese's decision to leave the uh, Veteran Explorer on the table, and then after he dazes it, put it in the graveyard. Seems a little sketchy to me. I think in the meantime, Manny was just reading Diabolic and Temple. I, I don't. I, I no. I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. <laughs> like, a, I'm just messing around. Yes. Yep. Yep. Now, what is he going to search for? It's probably Siege Rhino, right? Like, you've got four lands in play now. Presumably, you're going to make more land drops. Ooh, Manny has the other island in his hand. That's unfortunate. Oh, he's got Recurring Nightmare in his deck, too. Ugh. Um, we got a couple of people asking whether or not we can respond to the trigger. Uh, I don't know, is the answer. Um... We'll get some clarification afterwards from Dan. Yeah, I would like to certainly I'm, ask I'm, I'm not. I'm not 100% sure whether he can respond to the trigger. Uh, it looks like Death Rite Shaman resolves. Um, did, did you see whether or not Manny has any burn in his hand? Uh, he has a Fire Blast, but that's not really something you that's want to That's not the burn. That's not the burn we're looking for. No, Those are not the it. droids we are looking for. Ha! Star Wars reference. Ah, uh, nice one. Okay, so he could have responded to the uh, the Veteran Explorer trigger Ooh. with days. Um that's unfortunate. A little bit awkward. Well, that's one I'm going to remember. I now. am not sure what card Dan Deese just drew. Um, is it a birthing pod? Is he playing birthing oh, pod? Oh, Gaddick Teague. That's annoying. Can't fire blast anymore. Is that the only card it turns off, though? Uh, yeah. I mean, that's not really that annoying. Like, let's be real. It, it, it is annoying because Manny has one in his yeah. hand. But overall, it... So I guess he's considering just fire blasting Daniel Beast in the face. Uh, in response? Yeah. And that might be the right play. Like, that deck does not need four lands out. No, it That's for not. sure. Now, would you fire blast him to the face, or would you fire blast that, that Death Rite Shaman? I know that's an awkward play, but, like, Death Rite Shaman's just going to take over this game if it sticks around, right? Yep. He is going to float two mana. Smart. Fire blast. And what is he going to target? Uh, seems like he's targeting his Yeah, he's his going dome. to the face. He's going to the face. All right, so he's decided that his his route... Whoa! Follow up with Price Progress post-sacrificing the lands. I've done that before. It feels good, And man. floating the mana. It's only going to get there for three, though. Or for two, yeah, sorry. Yeah, for two, rather. That's a that's a pretty weak Price of Progress. Why didn't Manny keep that hand? Because going to five would have been even worse. Right. It, it was a six-card hand. Um... It had lands and spells. Keep in mind that he didn't have all those lands. He actually went and searched up two with the Veteran Explorer trigger. Yeah. So he only had two lands. Uh, I mean, it seemed like a reasonable keep. Not exciting, but reasonable. He had Chain yeah. Lightning, Days, Fire Blast, Price. Like, two lands. Uh, yeah. That's a keep. That's some... Yeah, you keep that instead of going to five. Yeah, Price for two. I, I don't really agree with that decision, but... I don't know. I think he just wanted to take advantage of his mana. Um, now we see... Dandies pick up a copy of Eternal Witness. God, I love this deck. It's so exciting. It's so fun. I don't because it's winning. It's so different than every other deck in Legacy. And a Siege Rhino. Boom. Game's yeah. over. Okay. Scoops him up. Siege Rhino. Uh, awesome in all formats. Uh, whatever. Fuck that card. Yeah. yeah. All right, here we get to see the sideboard. Woo! Go Nick Fit. Whatever. Read your Nick Fit sideboard. All right, on the board for Nick Fit, we've got two chokes, one Gaddick Teague, one Cross and Grip spelled wrong, one Thragtus, one, <laughs> one Scavenging <Force> and Grip, <laughs> one Thrun the Last Troll, also spelled wrong, one Engineered Plague, oh one Containment Priest, one Acidic Slime, one Golgari Trump, one Ashen Rider, one Malyra, blah, 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 <laughs> cast, one Surgical Extraction, one Dry Militant. I like the... Choke. I, not even. Really? Honestly, like, your deck operates off so few mana so quickly that I don't like the chokes here. Right. I, I like the Thragtusk a lot. I like the scavenging ooze a lot. Um, that's it. <laughs> that's all I want. I think this matchup is favored for Nick Fit. Yeah. Those are the only cards I want. I don't want to dilute the deck anymore. Uh, what do you like on the blue red double set? For blue red, we have one Graph Digger's Cage, one red element, or two red elemental blasts, two pyro blasts, two fluster storm, two slow Drake vortex, two blood moon, two grim lava mancer, two submerge, two arid mason, one misty rainforest. What? Three lands on the board? 
Wait, why are there why are there lands on the board? Maybe he couldn't find extra cards? No, there were 15 in there. I think I think he just wrote them in the incorrect spot because Ah. Well, yeah. we have the list in front of us. No. Why? Two Air Mesa, one Mystery Rainforest. Why? I don't think he liked your sideboard. He I don't know what to tell you. Regardless, um I like boarding in an extra land actually. Um and playing, vortex. and playing the two sulfuric vortexes, of course. Maybe even the submerge. Um, submerge is interesting. The downside is that Nick Fit plays a lot of come into play effect creatures. Yeah. Which submerge resets. Uh, the upside is it does it is a way to get rid of a card like a siege rhino possibly. Um, I like. Yeah, that's it. Ugh. There's 15 without the lands though. All right, so they're just written in the wrong spot. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Did. Uh... I don't know, whatever. I don't know how... Uh, yeah, it, the, the lands aren't in the sideboard. Those are supposed to be in the main deck. They're just written in the wrong spot. It's yeah. okay. Um, so we're back for game two. We'll see blue-red Delver on the play. What do you board out if you're uh, if you're Manny here? Um, spell Pierce. Spell probably, Pierce. Or Dazes. Which is worse? Well, you're going... You're on the play, so Dazes... Okay. Dazes is better than Spell Pierce. All right, so Spell Pierce as we board out. Yeah. On the uh, on the Nick Fit side of things, I like cutting the Gaddick Teague. Yeah. Um, as awesome as it was that game, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't think that's where you. Yeah, Cavern be. Lackey go. We. Uh, I don't know why it's on there. Uh, I'll. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's been. It, it. It'll get corrected. But yeah, Price of Progress isn't that good in this matchup, but it's better than Spell Pierce. Yeah. Pr I mean, you're right. Price is garbage in this matchup, but. Eh. It's like, I don't know. Th this th Blue Red Elver is not the kind of deck like. Nick Fit does everything Blue Red Delver doesn't want you to do. One, it plays basics. And two, it's it's and like... he's going so big, he's got Wiltly Pleaches in this deck. Really? Two copies of Wiltly Pleage. That is interesting. Man, he's going to get somebody later with Liliana. Like, someone is going to Liliana him, and plus one, he is going to slam a Wiltly Pleage. <laughs> I don't know. Spell Pierce only counters... Uh, there's four Swords of Or there's two Swords of Plasher, Sorry. Two Swords of Plasher, four Cabal Therapy, four Green Sun Zenith. One Recurring Nightmare. One Diabolic Intent. That's it. Uh, one Pernicious Seed. Maybe you do leave this Bob Pierce's in. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I I can see myself signing out some of the price. I'd maybe even bring in the Grim Lava Mancer or something and get rid of the mm. prices. It's like, I don't like, burn than I don't like Grim Lava Mancer in this matchup, though. Uh, it doesn't kill very much out of Nick Fit. I think he's only playing one copy of Deathrite Shaman. It does throw lava at their face, though. Slowly. <laughs> very slowly. <laughs> Take two. So... We'll take a look. We've got uh, Nick Fit mulliganing down to six. Um, Nick Fit traditionally mulligans pretty well, and you do have to mulligan kind of aggressively with Nick Fit because some of the cards are really awkward casting costs. So yes. if you have a bunch of four drops in your hand and no veteran explorer, it's hard to keep. Looks like we've got a Cabal Therapy, some lands, a Siege Rhino, and I can't tell. I think that's a copy of Eternal Witness. I'm not sure. Out of Manny. He's not, is he running any Goyfs? Is that... uh, no Goyfs. Okay. No, two copies, oh, or three he copies of Grim Lava Man, sir. Okay. He did bring in Lava Man. Okay, interesting. Lava Main. Uh, so we picked up a Plains, which we didn't need. And a Turn 1 so. Blind Cabal Therapy. What do you think he names here? Uh, Maybe, like, Brainstorm or Ponder or something. Oh, like. yeah. I'll do Auction. Welcome. Thank you for empowering the sloth. Did Thank we make you. that Thank bigger? You. Yeah, it was yes, smaller. We did. Yeah, we oh, made it bigger. What are you doing? <laughs> it's got to be bigger. Oh, he's got green suns in the cavern, like he says. Good eyes. Um, oh, wow. We Cabal Therapied a hand of. Is that like Mono Ponders? And Naming a submerge? Bowl. And it's like, yeah, it's like Mono Ponders. And a oh, man, if he can flash back that Cabal Therapy, this is going to be a big deal. Well, he just drew a land, so he'll be able to cast at least two of them. And he was named Bolt. That's he had four copies of Ponder That's so funny. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that's a lot of Ponders. <laughs> that's a lot of magical Ponders. Yeah, he better cast a second one right now. You don't want to get three for one. Oh, oh no. Oh, no, it's a mountain. Frick. Does he, have... Does he have a creature? Nope, he's got another Cabal Therapy. It's confusing because the art is different. Oh, no. But it is the same magic card. He has a daze, but that doesn't matter. Nope. You're going to hit... I bet he... I bet he names Ponder. <laughs> uh-huh. This is a three-for-one Cabal Therapy if he's naming Ponder. Those are... Those are, uh, those are my Ponders. Yep. There they go. 
Oh, no. Wow. That's as good as Cabal Therapy gets right there. That's it. Oh, that is as that good makes, as it gets. That makes me sick, man. You know, I don't think I've ever three for one somebody with Cabal Therapy. I've two for one people a lot. Oh, that's just gross. No, I, I like not dazing anyway. There's not a lot that Nick Fett t- can do with and just you drew a bolt. Yeah, this is this is problematic. This is very problematic. Bolt that dome. Looks like he's gonna end a turn bolt. Activate Grim Lava Mancer. But you're right. La- I mean, Lava Mancer is doing work this. Yeah, I mean, it's like better than it looks price. like um, Manny is just on the just on the burn plan at this point. Sometimes um, you gotta do that in this deck. Looks, is that two copies of Daze in his hand though? Is that he's got a submerge and I think two dazes. To be fair, guys, this is Emmanuel's first time playing this deck, so well, it's Manny's first time playing blue red burn, and it's probably his first time playing against Nick Fit. Yeah, so it's don't, not don't exactly, give him too much flat, guys. Not exactly an intuitive deck to play. Against. Manny's a good guy. A little bit awkward that Dan has to fetch up basics um, just in case Manny is leaving in price of progress. <laughs> Eyeballs, if they ever oh, unman Mind Twist, yeah. they're going to go right into Nick Fit. Transcendental Master. Welcome. Thank you for empowering the sloth. Welcome. Thanks for the follow. And here's going to hope to bring you Zenith. lots of awesome legacy content in the future. And so he's playing around days here, correctly. Uh, he's going to Green Sun for one. He's going to get better in Explorer, almost certainly. Yeah. And immediately sacrifice it to Cabal Therapy, naming days. Uh, yeah, and uh, it's... You go get the lands first. Does he want to respond to the trigger? Yeah. I think that's what he's... Because he's, that happened to him game one. Uh, it's going to be five rounds. Cut to top eight today, guys. So he's going to go get his lands. I don't think he cares if he loses the dazes, honestly. He just wants to thin out the deck, I guess. Well, you should definitely... Yeah, I mean, getting the lands is fine here. Like you said, it does, it does act as some thinner. Oh, I love those lands. They're so ugly. <laughs> we shouldn't even allow them on stream. I love them. Ugh, I love the, that white border, that off-color red. <sighs> that weird brown. Let's see. Let's see what Dandy's names with this uh, with this Cabal Therapy. Maybe he names Submerge. He doesn't know that Manny picked up a second copy of Days, and I think Submerge is the higher impact card. Yeah, he has five oh, lands God, in he has play. A in his hand. He has two two. Oh, he has two siege rhinos in his hand. If you were long. wondering whether or not this game was going to develop into a siege rhino game, the answer is yes. Please don't. Please don't. It's not going to be this turn. You you can still look. Okay. All right. If if you, I mean, you can't see us right now, but Ben Ben literally can't even watch. Oh, this is oh, and so he took sad. the submerge. Oh, and it's days polluted. Delta. Oh. This isn't going to do it. I'm sorry. It's not going to do it. It's not gonna do it. Pass. He's got Thrag Tusk in hand also. Does he really? Siege oh. Rhino? Siege Rhino. Top deck the Subtiric Vortex. Top deck the Subtiric Vortex. No, he, he top deck the. Uh, oh, no, he didn't tie to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, top Sophiric, deck the, Sophiric Vortex would be a huge slam draw. Slam right that here. Sophiric Vortex. Nope. Oh. Looked like a land. And that's not gonna do anything. Remember when you were on me about running. Uh... <laughs> Alright, well, this matchup is a little bit different. He did search for two basics. Oh, Blood Moon. Blood Moon doesn't do anything. It, t- it makes one of. Dan's lands a mountain. I don't like boarding that in, by the way. Yeah, I have no idea why he would do that. I think it's a mistake. I have to talk to him after this game. Oh, no. Yeah. All right, so I think he slams the Seedron. I'll play around the days that he knows about. Bing. Yep, I've got a mountain untapped still. Yeah. And that's an expensive mountain. That's a big deal. Oh, he decides to retap, which is interesting. He's like, uh, he actually can't tap that way? All right, he realized it. Yeah, don't cheat, Deese. He realized it. Man, we got some serious glare in that corner, huh? Yeah, uh, Nick said he was going to do something about that, but mm. I guess he didn't. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Ugh. You can... Just... Oh. Yeah, I, I actually can't even tell what it is. I, I believe it's a Savannah, but... Yeah, I'm not sure what Oh, no, it it's basic. It's a basic. Yeah. Picked up a copy of Lightning Bolt, but I think it's going to be too little too late. He can bolt the Siege Rhino and then Grim Lava Mancer the Siege Rhino, but yeah. removing both bolts. Yeah, but... I mean, the damage is already done. He yeah. doesn't know that Dan has another... another copy of Siege Rhino in his hand, but he's going to find out very shortly. It's just too much Oh, he might just game. play Thrag Dusk here. Oh, man. He picked this... up another land. Makes me sick. I'm just going to attack first. Let's see what you got. 
Show me your moves. Show me your moves. You playing Captain Falcon? Uh, no. Okay. I don't, I mean, yeah, so he's going to do the, the play that we talked about. He's going to bolt the Siege Rhino, remove, kill the Siege Rhino, and he's going to be very unhappy to find waiting for him you an additional that. Siege Rhino. <laughs> yep. yep. It's, it's very unfortunate here. That's essentially the magic game. Like yeah. it's going to be very, very difficult for uh, for Manny to flip this, uh, for Manny to flip these life totals around. What do you draw? <laughs> Looks like we have a Captain Falcon fan in the chat. Falcon, I, I don't play Falcon, but Falcon's pretty sweet. I Falcon. don't play Smash Brothers. I am embarrassed to say I'm actually not really a video game guy. I know you I'm are. A, I'm a I, magic guy. I'm, I'm a magic. A, guy. I'm a big video. I can game only guy. be obsessed with one thing at a time. And it's magic. I like video games a lot. You can All probably right. tell. That's fair. <laughs> Falcon Punch! Uh, I think we're going to see a Thragtus come down, by the way, I, in I, Legacy. I, it's about to happen. I don't, I don't want to watch this magic and game I expect anymore. us to enter the scoop phase of the game after that magic card oh, comes out. Let's find out. Let's find out. Thragtusk. The scoop phase has been entered. <sighs> Nick Fit is victorious. Whatever. Oh, it's so sweet. It's so sweet. Nick Fit is victorious. Fantastic. It's just stupid deck. You know it's my first love. I mean, I it really is. I, know, I, I it's actually, not a I actually deck. only fooled around with with junk Nick Fit for a little while. Um, I like it, but I don't know. I it's I, I prefer either Bug or Jund or straight black green. But it's still a lot of fun. You get to play Sea Rhino in junk. It's a pretty good reason. You know, I'm 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 salty, but you know it is it is nice to see. What's to be salty about? Nick Fit doing because my deck lost. But I am glad to see something like Nick Fit, you know, winning. You know, it's nice to see something that isn't. Nick Fit's three zero. I know it's nice. Nick to Fit's see three zero. It's he not can, miracles. I think right? he might be able to double draw into top eight. I think he can. I mean, it's, it's going to depend on who he gets paired. As long as he doesn't get paired down, he should be able to double draw into, into top eight. We beat. Shut up. We didn't beat anything. Yeah, we've got a... There's a few spelling errors Cores on, on grid, the sideboard. Corzin Malia, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Nick really half-assed it here. Yeah, really, Nick, that, that, that's where we're Nick at. Nick half-asses everything he does. Yeah. We'll see if we can... Uh, we'll see if we can get... You want me to go get Deese? Get Deese in here to uh, to talk about his deck a little bit. Looks like oh, he's Deese sideboarding. Oh, guy. Uh, we don't have a second match to throw on camera right now. Uh, we will later on in the tournament as we start kind of paring people down. Um, but for right now, we're going to get uh, Dan Deese in here to talk about the deck. Um, because Siege Rhino in all formats. Uh, Luxac Delver Flip, it's true. Nick Fit is favored against Fair Decks. It, it struggles against combo. And you can see that reflected in Dandy's sideboard with, you know, the additional Gaddic Teague, um, cards like Containment Priest, Ashen Rider, Surgical Extraction, Dryad Militant. Those cards are all, uh, those cards are all very good against, against combo. Uh, Nick Fit is definitely favored against Shroud this Bug. Um, it's not as favored as it is against some other fair matchups, but Charles Bug plays very few basics, if any. Um, him to Tarak is good uh, against Nick Fit, but so is Veteran. I mean, Veteran Explorer is just amazing in that matchup. Charles has no way to deal with it. They have to kill it. It's going to go get two lands, and then Nick Fit can just grow out of proportion. Um, Watch out for the cable. Introducing Scumbag Life Gain. Come on in, Dandies. <laughs> Nick Fit is victorious. Whatever. So Undefeated. Today. Probably can double draw into top eight. Very excited. Love seeing Nick Fit do its thing on camera. Talk to us about the deck. Well, I came up with it uh, the Monday before uh. it started getting streamed for the Modern Daily. We were talking about how good uh, Siege Rhino is against the Blue Red meta. Sure. So... I start throwing together a list that just really preys on blue red and the other. This is this is old seen. blue red. Old we're blue red, about, right? Yeah. With, with treasure cruises, this deck was busted against treasure cruise. It, Continue. It main deck chains of Mythosopolis. I mean. Right. Well, we're not doing that anymore, unfortunately. I'm trying to. I need to get a new one. Oh, okay, so you would, if you had access to it, you would main deck chains. Yes, because it helps in the worst matchup, which is mir is miracles. Interesting that you find miracles your worst matchup. I I didn't. We have, have trouble with miracles. We generally. have back to basics miracles in the room, and they they don't, they have lots of basics to fetch. And they don't I mean, care. it's it's true. Um, Entry the Angels is very good against you. Uh, he's playing a main a main deck Gaddic Teague and a sideboard Gaddic Teague. Sir Cucumber, uh, he's got both. 
it really helps against uh, decks running the four of Force of Will main on game one. Sure. Game one. It, it also gives you game one against Storm. against Storm. Yeah, they like, can't win. And them. and even Sneak and Show, like being able to search up a Gaddicti, turn off their Force of Wills, turn off their sneak attacks. Pretty they good. Can't, they can't do anything. Like, I mean, yeah, they have to challenge. Ball therapy, but... just taking stuff out of their hand. Sure. They're pretty much stuck in the water until you beat them down. No, it's good. I mean, it's a sweet list. Uh, talk to us about Malyra, blah blah blah, Outcast on your board. Um, I've always been a fan of toolboxes, so I decided to throw in the one Malyra since we have a few infect players in the room. Okay. Okay. Seems a little bit narrow, but it, it is very narrow. But I guess I guess infect is a tough match. It is a very yeah. tough match. Uh, you have to be on the play and just cabal therapy their threats right off of that. Just take away their vines. What up by Rossi Belcher? Yeah, sure, that makes sense. Uh, My brother so can play some Belcher. It's really nice being able to just green sun on turn two for Malira, and they have to go to the beatdown plan, and you win the beatdown. Yeah, plan. Yeah, no, you win if it's if it turns into a fair a, a fair deck. Absolutely, absolutely. I don't know. It's uh. It's pretty sweet, man. I'm happy for you. I I'm love not. you. Know I love Nick Fit. I'm not. So I'm it's, not it's happy. Right on my, I'm not. Right on my alley. Yeah, Ben Rossi is not happy. He no. was, <laughs> when, when we saw your hand of double siege rhino, he almost couldn't watch anymore. I, I mean, want, like I'm head like, in his hands. You guys can't see it because we're watching the actual stream. But Ben Rossi is literally covering his eyes. I'm like, please covering just his top eyes. Top sulfuric vortex and tell this guy to go fuck himself, please. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, <clears throat> it was sweet. It was sulfuric vortex or bust for like a one turn window yeah, before the first siege rhino. And then you had the, the ponders also, and you got the three ponders. He kept a four ponder hand, and I he had who, four who ponders. Ponder no, you don't. You pick brainstorm first, right? Is that what you named? I actually no, bolt. named, oh, you named uh, bolt because okay. you know he's got a fast clock. I wanted to just strip his That's hand fair. of anything quick. That's fair. Um, but it, it, he got a little bit unlucky. He, he pondered when he fired that first ponder off. He's really just looking for any blue land, yeah, so that he can fire and a second ponder off. And you can only two for one him yeah. instead of three for one him, and he found a basic mountain. Just it was very unfortunate. I mean, he's only playing one basic mountain in the deck. It's literally the only land he can find that he can't cast ponder there. Yeah. Um. So that was a little, that was a little unfortunate. Um. Grody is the word. For yeah. <laughs> grody. Okay. Grody. But either way, congratulations, and uh, hopefully yeah, we'll see you in congratulations. top eight in, uh, in a couple of rounds. I, I have to if say, it's, uh, if it's the right thing to draw, and I feel pretty confident on woo, play and heart woo. on the draw. Okay, that's fair. I mean, it definitely is. Uh, the deck definitely plays out better on the play. Like getting the Cabal Therapy Veteran Explorer interaction off earlier is is definitely better. Love that we got to see Diabolic Intent on camera. Oh, it's so good oh, when you're running one. By the way, so he could have responded to the Veteran Explorer trigger with yeah, days, correct? Could have. Okay. I I did have an open land for that reason. I thought you tapped out when you cast Dialogue Intent. The first game. Yeah, the first game. When you game played Dialogue Intent, oh, yes. you did first tap out. Game, yes. So, I mean, sacrificing is part of the cost, yep. but he can respond to the Veteran Explorer he trigger can. with days, correct? Yes. Okay, so that, that would have been the play then. Um, we were just... It, we were, it was a little bit confusing what was going on in the action. We were discussing it on stream. We had a couple people writing in. Honestly, so I just wanted to double check. it's just another sack outlet. Sometimes it helps me get my one nose Sure. But the fact that it just lets me... Search for Seed Rhino. Search for basics against the deck right. that plays Price to Progress. And Seed Rhino. Oh, that's because he let me. But also, <laughs> but also Seed Rhino. Yeah. Yes. Seed Rhino is always nice. Yeah, that was, that was pretty sweet. That was pretty sweet. Well, congratulations, Dan. And uh, hopefully we'll see you on camera again soon. Smashing face with Nick Fit. I have just Thank one thing much, to say guys. to you, oh, Daniel. Ben, ben I have Rossi. one thing to say to you. Yes. Even though you beat my deck, I'm glad you're not Miracles. So, oh, yeah. So if you beat some <laughs> Miracles players, I'll cheer for you, all right? Let's hope I don't see Miracles, then I don't have to worry about it. There's, <laughs> only, there's only two in the room today, I think. No, one I of know. them, one of them uh, dropped. Definitely oh, dropped to so play. There's, uh, one, there's one left. So there's one Miracles player left in the room. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Yep, yada yada miracles, exactly. All right, <laughs> all right, Dan. Have good good luck the rest of the way. Yeah, yeah. Okay, seriously though, I'm just kidding around. Good luck. Thank you. Even though you beat my deck. <laughs> well, oh, that that's was... the one deck that I don't want to face. That again. was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. It's if like... you can't tell with the smile ear to ear, I really enjoyed it's that. Like, that deck is so good against combo because it's run twelve. It runs twelve counter spells, and it's so good against sure. like fair but decks. Unfa unfortunately, cards like Days and Spell Pierce are really pretty subpar. Against Nick Fit, um, Force yeah, of Will is good. I mean. Force of Will is very good, um, but Days and Spell Pierce are are pretty subpar. Pretty subpar. Um, so we'll see. We'll uh, we'll see how it plays out the rest of the way. Manny now has to win 
probably his next two matches maybe can win. If he wins his next match, he can probably draw in um, to top eight. But if he loses his next match, he'll be playing a win-in possible in. What I saw in uh, the chat was people were talking about Belcher. And I wish my brother were here today playing Belcher. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, Belcher would be an interesting choice for this metagame. We've got I love a lot of Belcher. Got a lot of decks that it would be good against. Th there are a lot of Force of Wolves floating around, yeah. though. There's a Rug Delver player. There's two Miracle players today. There's a Blue Red Delver player. There's an Infect player. This is just off the top of my head. Um, there's two Deathblade players. I, I don't know. Like Belcher is one of those. It's one of those decks that like you, the metagame really has to be has to be right for it. Uh, beautiful magic game. Jola set is not good at miracles. There, I said it. He's 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 not really very good at it. He plays it a lot. He plays it pretty well. Um, but I actually think that there are a lot of better miracle players in the world uh, than Jola set. So, I have no opinion because I don't know who Jola set is. I'm, I'm just saying. I, Jill, really? <laughs> yeah. The guy that is constantly on Star City with miracles. I don't I don't watch any magic streams. Okay. Um, I, I really I like. I've watched a lot of Jola set on camera. I have some friends that play miracles and play miracles really well, and I don't think Jola set's very good at miracles. I think he plays that deck fine, but he he's got fancy play syndrome. He tries to make the fancy play at all times. You know, he loves the top tricks and you know top venture my top draw an extra card like <laughs> that's bad whispers of the muse. Yeah, F Philip Schoeniger, excellent. Philip Braverman, good. Um, PV, Paulo Vito Damodorosa, when he decides to play Miracles. Excellent Miracles player. Um, I know, I know. There's, there's a bunch of really good Miracles players out there that don't get any press because Joliset plays it every single weekend. When Star City was streaming Legacy every single weekend, he's you know they always put him on camera because he always started like 2-1 or 3-0, whatever. And for the amount of Star Cities that he played in with Miracles... I, I don't think his record was even particularly good. Like, he did better, but uh, I don't know. I, I, I think... Game three coming off for you guys. Okay. Awesome. Sweet. All right, so we are going to get a new uh, a new match on. It's going to be game three of a match. I'm sure we'll get the... It looks to be name Seth, who I know is playing Rug versus I don't know what else. Yeah, Seth and Enzo. Yeah, Reed Duke. Perfect example. Reed Duke, excellent Miracles player. Reed Duke is an excellent everything player. I, I, know, I know two Magic pros. I know Luis Scott Vargas... Because I watch the Channel Fireball, the Top 8, I like those videos a lot. Okay. And I know Brian Kibler. So you also know Paul Cheon, then, if you watch Who's those Top 8 videos. Was he the fat guy? No, he's the skinny Asian guy. Oh, I, I knew the fat guy that was with him, and apparently... Uh, oh, TSG. Yeah. Yeah, there was some awkwardness yeah, there. Yeah, I know that guy. Right. Uh, but yeah, Reed Duke, uh, Luxac Delver Flip. Um, Reed Duke is an excellent Miracles player. Uh, so let's, let's head over to the main camera, because we've got a Game 3 to show you guys. Looks like Seth Fidanza on the left... Rug and, versus Deathblade. So. Yeah, Brian Hannon, who we saw earlier on camera, on the right. Um, the names and deck lists are wrong. Uh, this is just extra bonus magic, game three of our round. Wow, when did our Emmanuel round? turn into a white guy, and when did Dan... Oh, damn it. I didn't, even get to, I didn't even get to make my jokes. Nope, your jokes are bad. Whatever. Uh, so we got Fetch for a basic Deathrite Shaman. I like fetching for the basic against Rug Delver. Yes. It's really important. It looks like Seth has a hand with Brainstorm, Lightning Bolt, Submerge... And a Tarmogoyf? Tarmogoyf and a couple of lands. That's a good hand. That is a good ass hand. Uh, he doesn't have a lot of counter spells though, oh, and that no. could make this Stoneforge Mystic pretty effective. Does he have a Daze? Did we miss a Daze in there? I mean, Daze doesn't even do it. Oh yeah, Daze doesn't do it. Uh, oh, be submerged. beautiful magic game. So the, the Nick Fit. I, I I do play Nick Fit. Uh, I am the guy on the left, Mike. Um, the Ashen Rider was on uh, Dan Disa's board. Specifically for show and tell decks. Oh, um, that. Oh, oh I don't spell snare. think I agree with it, but I get why he was playing it. Oh, spell snare is a great one here. I, I, you know, show and tell. I don't really think it doesn't really work against the new omniscience decks, doesn't it? Because they can well respond to the Ashen now, Rider by cunning wishing for a uh, for uh, the card that uh, it counters. It stops a trigger at a split second. Sure. Um, Trickbind? Trickbind, yeah. yeah. They can if they're playing that on their board. I I, I know some of them play Trickbind, some of them don't. Um, I don't know. Asher Rider's fine. And Sneak and Show's still a deck. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I didn't think about that. Yeah. So we got a Brainstorm into Sulfuric Vortex. No, I know what Nimble Stifle Mongoose. is, but they run Trickbind instead of uh, Stifle. Yeah, Trickbind has split second. Yeah. 
that's the reason there. So he spell snared the uh, the um, Stoneforge Mystic. Stoneforge Mystic. That's a great play. And it looks like we've got uh, a brainstorm resolving. He's gonna put back a wasteland, which is great because that's freaking pointless in this deck. It's dead right here. Yeah. I would assume that he is going to bolt the Deathrite Shaman, yes. Yeah, I think too. you're going to see him fetch for a red source and bolt the Deathrite Shaman. Yeah. He is in the think tank about this. He's, he, he's really debating on whether or not to keep that wasteland. Like, it is bad right now, but he knows that with two basics out, it's possible that Brian Hannon doesn't have any more basics to go fetch up. Yeah. And that wasteland might come into play at a later time. Playing with wasteland, you know, it, it seems like, a, like an easy card to play with, like... <laughs> he, was, he was about to poke back three cards. So maybe he won't fetch right here? Is that possible? No, he's going to fetch. Okay. But yeah, some people, you know, they, they play Wasteland and they think, oh, you know, I just waste the guy's land. It's like, sometimes you really got to think about Wasteland. You know, you got to think about when to use it, what to cut them off of, you know, sure. when it's good, you know. So it's not as easy as it seems. Also, I saw the Sephiric Vortex in his hand. Yes. I like that card yes. a lot. Uh, what's not to like? That's a good magic card. It's also very good against a deck like Deathblade that relies on, you know, cards like Batterskull and, and Jitte yeah. to dig them out of a hole in this matchup. Not going to work when there's a tornado made of fire. <laughs> yeah, it'd be interesting to see whether or not uh, Brian boarded in any sort of Golgari charm type effect. I know he is splashing green uh, for the Deathrite Shaman. I think he had a Golgari charm. Oh, wait, no, that was, that, was, uh, that was the first round. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I saw a Golgari. Sir Cucumber, I, I thought I answered the Rider question uh, about why he's playing Ashen Rider. Uh, he's playing Ashen Rider for the show-and-tell matchups. Um, and I think that's specifically what it's there for. I don't know whether or not I like it, but that's what it's there See, for. See, is he going to slam the Sulfuric Vortex? I think he's going to try and play around days. Okay. Yeah, he's going to play Tarmogoyf. He's going to play around days. He's going to leave up some mana. And we say Brainstorm and response. That's going to come out of Florida besides these stories about the crazy accidents involving <laughs> crocodiles. Thanks. And people biting other people at Publix. And, yeah, uh, we have some some weird some weird shit that comes <laughs> out of Florida. Like, let's be real. But uh, we appreciate it. Um, if you haven't already, you can follow our stream. Yes. Um, Please follow do. us here at South Florida Magic. You can also also you can donate. And if you donate three dollars or more, it'll read what you say. <laughs> the only thing we request is nothing racist unless it's about white bitches. You can I talked to Dave. You can say white bitches. You can say fuck boys. You could say fun boys. Sure. But sure. No, where where can they donate? Uh, there's a button, I believe, on the Twitch page. Okay, great. I think it's near the follow button. I don't remember. Uh, all donations will be used to uh, help buy equipment and, you know, uh, magic cards for us to sell. Yeah, nobody's whatever. getting paid it, right now. No, it, it's all getting getting contributed to selfportomagic.com. So. so, yeah. If you want to donate, we appreciate it. If not, just follow our stream. Well, you say we. I, I, I don't even work for the company. I just talk. You do work <laughs> for the company. You're here. You're a commentator. It's yeah, I don't get paid, though. It's not really work. I'm like a prisoner. Strapped in the closet. <laughs> uh, so, we see the sideboarded Inquisition of Coslick come into play here. Um, but, Brian, it's actually great in this matchup. It, it's almost strictly better than Thoughtseize in this matchup. Um, well, actually, you know, it doesn't I, take forceful, it doesn't take submerge, it takes everything else, and it's gonna, have and to, it's gonna strip that sulfuric board. I have right to here. ask, what's the difference between Inquisition and Thoughtseize? Inquisition of Kozilek is one black mana, sorcery, um, is it target player less? discards three or less. Okay, right, three or right. less. Right. And you don't lose less. life. There's no life loss. Okay. Which is a big deal in this matchup. Alright. Um, obviously Thoughtseize, not as effective against a deck playing, uh, you know, burn. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. very aggressive creatures. You can, you know, if you want to thought seize my lightning bolt, I mean, it's just one less damage. Like, <laughs> how much does a Spanish Inquisition cost? <laughs> is Spanish Ingu I, I'm not, I'm not sure. I would love to own a Spanish, a, a set of Spanish Inquisitions that apply in modern, because that's awesome. oh, another Inquisition. Wow. So that's two of them. Oh no, no, oh, so it's Inquisition, Caster. Snapcaster, Inquisition. Okay, I like that play. Yeah, and you know he has a what, creature. Now he's got a creature down for Jitte. He's not gonna block here, I promise. <laughs> you sure? He doesn't want to take that, like, three damage. I think he's going to gladly oh, take the damage. Oh, yeah. Oh, Thel guy. The Thel guy? The Thel guy, Thel guy. I'm going to go with the Thel guy. The Thel guy. Correct Thank us. you for following. We appreciate well, it. probably correct me. Yeah. Th thank you for empowering the sloth. Thank you. We've got this uh, We've got this stream on every single Sunday afternoon. Um, we also, during the week, there's replays of, of our Sunday streams that, that pop up. And also, we have six-time Pro Tour competitor Adam Fox. <laughs> streaming on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I love the way you guys, you and Nick both have rehearsed it to say that. It's not a rehearsal, it's true. Whatever. He should be proud. He's a six-time Pro Tour competitor. That's a big deal. How many Pro Tours have you made, Ben? 
Uh, the, can- the correct answer is, mm. how many haven't I made? Uh, all of them. <laughs> all of them. All right, so we see the snap block by Seth. Uh, so this is interesting. Brian traded the, the Snapcaster Mage for counters on Jitter. And he has, he has, um... Threshold. threshold. Yeah. Yep, Threshold has been achieved. And Brian's empty-handed. Ugh. That Jitter is great, but it can't target Noble Mongoose. No, it cannot. Uh, it looks like Seth picked up a, a superfluous copy of Wasteland. He does have a submerge yes. for Brian's next play, though, right? Yeah. Um, oh, Brian doesn't control a... Oh, that's a good point. A forest. Does he? No, he does not. I actually didn't think about that. Hmm. Submerge actually doesn't seem great in this matchup. Yeah, you know... Oh, well, there's a forest. <laughs> he just drew it. Is he, he, he going to play it? Didn't, didn't play it. Drew it, but didn't play it. On the bayou. And, well, now he has Submerge... That he can pitch to Force of Will, so... Huh. Not the worst thing ever. Oh, he did pick up a Force of Will. Okay. That's a big deal. Is that another land? That's just mm. unfortunate. I like to see him just pass the turn and hold those lands in case he draws Brainstorm. Yeah. Playing a fifth and a sixth land isn't really going to get anything there. Uh, Luxac Delver, I'm not sure why Seth decided to board in the, the Submergers. Luxac Delver flip. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like them at all in this matchup. I think Brian... I, you know, I'm not sure whether or not Brian thought about the fact. Oh, hey. <laughs> Try me fuck, boy, get your face put on a white tee. Oh, man, I love that. Love it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't even, I haven't even seen that gif. Uh, that's the first time we've seen the gif. Uh, thank you so much for the donation. We really, we really appreciate it. It's going to help us continue to stream every single Sunday. Bringing you legacy content. Yes. As best as we can. Yeah, because Star City, you know, they decided that they didn't want to do legacy, right? And it is what it is, man. Like, it just opens the door up for us. It's yeah. fine. We're, we're happy. We we have a lot of legacy players in our area, and we're happy to bring legacy content to you guys every single week. Ah, oh, another land. Uh, Ooh, brutal. that's gross. It's a brutal draw here, because that Nimble Mongoose is getting really close to lethal, and he picks up a Stifle. So he can actually Stifle the Jitte activation yeah. if he wants. He's not well, going he's to. he's not going to, That yeah. two-life isn't going to make all the difference in the world. <sighs> I don't think there's anything Brian can draw here. Brian's at four. Um... Of true main. I mean, well, well, he has Force of Will in hand. Oh, that's true, Seth, yeah. Seth has Force of Will in hand, so this game is probably on lockdown well, at this point. Well, he's gonna go true name, and then he's gonna go Force, and then Brian Hand's gonna cry. He can actually hard cast this Force of Will if he wants to. <laughs> I don't think he's going to, uh, just to risk random spell piercer days. He um, doesn't have any blue open. Well, I guess he could fetch. Right. Looks like he is gonna hard cast the Force of Will. I think this is actually greedy. No, thank you, uh, Luxac Delverflip, for actually uh, tuning in. That's really what's important, is who actually watch. Yeah, absolutely. What are you saying you're welcome for, Stu Cucumber? I don't even know who you are. I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm just messing with them. I'm just messing with them. All right. I, got, let me just say, you guys, I'm not a representative of South Florida Magic. We've got the hard cast for us, so well. <laughs> I'm just a guy um, who walked in here. And two more attacks. I'm should, actually homeless. Should take care of this game for Seth Pedanta. Yeah, Brian here really, you know, drawing so the, that many. I mean, the, the draw here, the draw here is is True Night Nemesis. Yeah, True Night Nemesis stops the Nimble Mongoose in its tracks. Uh, no, but land. Uh, yeah, yeah, too many lands, and we see Sep take it down. Yeah, very unfortunate for. Uh, I'm a lion. I wish there was more legacy in Central Florida. Also, you'll have to take a little road trip. Yeah, down to us. Um, if you're coming down for GP Miami, this goes to everybody. If you're coming down to GP Miami. And you want to say hello? Just uh, find the South Florida Magic guys. We'll be we'll be there. All of us will be there. If you know us from the stream, come up, say hello. We'd love to meet some of you. Um, this is what I look I like. I actually I'm me. I actually won't be there because I have jury duty. <laughs> I actually got selected for jury duty. Can't you get out of it? I I mean I have to call them. I can't call them. Yeah, I have to call them the day before. Hmm. All right, so maybe you won't get selected though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, maybe I'm, I'm you won't have to go in on the day. But okay, we'll see. Either way, it's not on the weekend. There's no jury duty on the weekend. Yeah, but no, I mean, jury duty Friday. Yeah, but it, it might it might be more than one day. There's no there's no oh, trials true, on the weekend. True, you can true. absolutely go. I don't know. I don't know if they'll let me leave it. I don't know if I can tell them. Oh well, I'm gonna be gone for the weekend. I mean, I'll talk to them. I'll talk to them. Whatever. I'll ask. Them. You can 100 percent leave for okay, the weekend. Sweet. You're not a lock. <laughs> They're gonna put me in jail. You're not gonna be on jury for. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> for, for a murder trial or something for a like that. High like, case let, murder. Let, let it go. Yeah, this guy is deciding the fate of somebody's, possibly deciding the fate of somebody's That's life. That's actually terrifying. Actually, if it makes you feel better, I'm probably more likely to say someone's innocent. 
because um, I actually went to law classes. Great. Um, Batsusai, uh, come on in. SCG jo does show some Hello. legacy coverage, um, but not a ton. Um, what are you doing so in here? So we're here boy? every single Sunday. Oh, legacy yeah. Also, uh, if you like the stream, you should check out SouthFloridaMagic.com. Really? Yeah. How much? $3. $3 but really? still. Um, thanks. What did the guy say? <laughs> he said, uh, some about oh, a white boy yeah. and his name about a white boy. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was very right. entertaining. Sounds cool to me. The gift yeah, was very funny. Uh, so anyways, if you like our stream, you should check out SouthFloridaMagic.com. Starting tomorrow, we will have new articles up, and there's still a archive oh, of all our yeah. old articles on there. They're written by our local players. Um, topics range from legacy, standard, limited, cube design, oh, God, Vorthos, um, to just tournament reports. Yeah. So check it out. You can find out a little bit more about us, and uh, we're just bringing you, trying to bring you more content um, as often as possible. Support the five six one guys. We're gonna leave. We're gonna leave you guys now, and we'll be back soon with round four.